Hey everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. So a two-year study of high school students in the 1980s measured the times to complete a one-mile run. The mean for the boys was 460 seconds and the standard deviation was 55 seconds. The mean for the girls was 591 seconds and the standard deviation was 70 seconds. Darnell ran the mile in 394 seconds and Christina ran the mile in 500 seconds. Which student actually perform better when compared to high school students of the same sex. So let's let's go ahead and break this down. So we've got some numbers for boys and girls. So the mean for the boys was 460 and its standard deviation was 55. And let's go over here. And the mean for the girls was 591 and 70. And we've got Christina coming in at 500. And let me go back and color code this. I think it was blue. Was it blue? Darnell went in 394. Okay, so let's go get their Z-scores so we can actually put them on a common scale. Because right now, we have the boys on one scale, girls on another. And when you want to take two data values from different data sets and compare them, you put them on the same scale to compare them. And that's, that's, that scale is the Z-scores. So let's go ahead and get the Z-scores for Darnell. Now, z-scores are always value minus mean over standard deviation. So in this case, all right, Darnell, I think we gave him blue. So he he ran the mile, ooh, 394 minus 460, right? And his, that standard deviation was 55. And actually, this is a good thing for Darnell. That's why I said, ooh, he ran it under average, which is, is good when you're talking about running because lower times indicate faster runners. So Darnell was, his z-score was negative 1.2. So he was 1.2 standard deviations below the mean, which again is good if you're talking about running. If you're talking about test scores, usually higher test scores are better. So there's some uh, an example of where you would want to be over the mean. Um, I don't play golf, but I know the lower score you get in a golf game is better. So in uh, if this was a golf setting, you would want negative z-scores. All right, let's go get Christina. She's also going to be value minus mean over standard deviation, but she is, if we take a look, she's going to be 500 minus the average of 591. So she was also under average. That's good for her. And let's see, her z-score is going to be negative 1.3. But you can see Christina has a larger negative z-score. So she was further below the mean relatively speaking when we compare her with Darnell. So lower Z scores represent lower, excuse me, lower Z scores represent better running times, right? So actually Christina is the one that ran better. So let's see, Darnell performed better with a Z score. No, he did not. Uh, Christina performed better with a Z score of negative 1.3 being further to the left of Z score. Uh, yeah. So if we take a look at what's being written in B, oops, that was supposed to turn into a straight line. Let me just draw the standard normal curve. Right here's a z score. We know zero is under the mean. So, Christine. Well, I'll go with Darnell. Darnell is somewhere around here at negative one point two, and Christine is down here at negative one point three. So she's even further to the left. That's why it's saying left because we're going this way. Um, so she's further left on that z axis. So that is the correct answer here. And let's just check. Um, see, yeah, they did not both perform equally well. Um, these scores can't be compared. No, nope, we can. We put them on Z score. So yeah, B is the correct answer. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.